I, I got an acting agent in Dallas and I was like, I can't work with this lady. I had to fire, let her go. Why? It, it was this weird thing where she was like, okay, to start off, we're going to do the, like, these reality shows, right? Like these online, they get like 60 million views, but it's like cheaters or it's like, oh, you're going to play this guy whose wife is fucking, fucking your brother. Yeah, because cheaters is fake, right? It's all fake. It's all bullshit. So, so you were going to be one of the guys. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> wife. So literally I was fucking an ex-military guy's wife, like this guy who was overseas, his wife. So I show up to the, the shoot day, right? Wait, you booked it? Yeah. They, they booked me. <laughs> By like, the way, I love how you just... I'm the guy. I love how you scoffed me off. You're like, yeah, dude, it was Come fucking... Come on, Adam. Yeah. Look at me. I get pussy whenever I want. Look at this, you know? People believe that I fucked the military guys. Also, I love that they picked me. Like, this guy is a, a hero. This guy is, you know, serving our country. And she's like, you know what? I want to fuck the bus boy at Chili's. <laughs> so... <laughs> so uh, I go and I get there and they're like I was like what's my character's name and they're like oh we're just gonna go Johnny Casillas <laughs> and I was just like I was like y you know I was like yeah can we not and they're like no we'll just use your name I go yeah but the thing is like I do stand up and I, like the, that's my brand. Like I don't really care about this show. Like this is just a two hundred dollar yeah. paycheck. Tony Casey is my stage name. This is like, that I'm willing to just throw away on yeah, an episode me. of Cheaters. I've been called that my whole life, you know. And um, I don't want fucking people coming up to me after shows and being like, "Are you the guy that betrayed our military?" <laughs> You're fucking over here. You, yeah, you're the Taliban <laughs> over here. <laughs> yeah. So I literally oh. go, yeah, I'm good. And they're like, uh, they're like, yeah. So my agent calls me. She's like, did you just leave? And I was like, yeah. And she goes, this is unprofessional. I was like, why can't I just go oh. by like Brian McFallon or something? I can pick John a good, Smith anything. or Cheater McGee. Like yeah. anything is better yeah. than your real name. Also cheaters. You don't have <laughs> alternate names waiting in the way. You don't have writers on set being like, just call him a titty fuck captain. <laughs> Clit my stuff. You know? So, so yeah, I was like, I'm good. And then, yeah, she's like, and it was one of those ages where it's like, you pay us a hundred dollars and we, and then I never sent her a check. It was a pay to play where it's like starting out Agency? to get headshots. Like, I have headshots. Like, I work for a professional photography studio. She's like, they're good. They're not that good. And my, I, I texted my boss, and he goes... They won't get you a job on Cheaters. Yeah, yeah, they won't get you the Cheaters job. <laughs> this is more like a local Ford dealership, you know? Yeah, yeah if you want to do car dealership ads, <laughs> yeah, stick then, with those <laughs> bullshit pics. My, my boss is like, I use the same, like, lighting and camera for a fucking Nike's ad. Like, they were, like, they're legit headshots. Wow. Like, he's a... Like he works on like big yeah. profile. He goes, yeah, she's just fucking trying to screw you out of some money. And I was like, so I just told her, yeah, I'm good. And we're done. Mm -hmm. You fired her. And then she was like, she's like, I have connections in the business. <laughs> and so I was like, I was like, all right. And I was like, all right. And she's like, she was like, I know Michael Keaton's granddaughter. Oh You're yeah. Like, she was right. like, I was gonna pitch you for this role, and you would have worked with uh, what's his name? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, she did. Julia Rob Roberts' brother. Uh, he, he Lyle Love it. No, no, oh, no, that's no. who she fucked. He played um, the, in Eric the Roberts. Eric Roberts. She's like, I was gonna pitch this role, and you would have had a scene with Eric Roberts. And I was like, <laughs> I worked on a, I worked as a PA on a movie with Eric. Roberts, it's fine. <laughs> I'm cool to pass. <laughs> the guy reads off a of note cards, doesn't remember the script. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> This is the fucking best story I've heard in a long time. So, oh yeah. my god, I'm good. I got my fill on ER, baby. All right, the show and the guy. Yeah, Eric Roberts. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, I'm. Eric you know, Roberts. the Dark Knight's great. Not the best character. I don't feel I, like it oh, wasn't. It by the wasn't way, like, she has. Well, go ahead. The Oscar wasn't between Heath Ledger and then Eric Roberts. You know how many of those she has in her back pocket? Oh, yeah. By the way, two other clients where she's like, oh, oh, fine, quit on me. <laughs> yeah. I, I was gonna pitch you for a role. You had a scene with Sally Fields' uh, <laughs> nephew, yeah. Robert Fields. No relation to the cookie. And you're like, all right. All right. Yeah. So it was just like, I, I, was, like, you're, miss out. I was like, you're threatening me because of a, a $12 commission check? Because if I'm getting Cause paid. I didn't, yeah, because I wanted to ruin my namesake. Also, I don't want to fuck, you know, I don't want to improv <laughs> me being like, yeah, I'm fucking your wife, dude. Like, <laughs> By the way, that's the only part of the story that makes me sad is that there's no footage of oh. this to cut to right now <laughs> or that you didn't get to like for sure because the cameras run up and cheaters and yeah. they would have come up to you in the car with the girl and the boyfriend would be like the fuck Kathleen <laughs> actually let's play it out right here we go okay, right. so I'm the guy so you're in the car with the girl right yeah and I come up 
Okay, she's over here, she's over here. Kathleen, open, actually, you know what? Dude, fucking open the door. Who the fuck are you? First off, calm down, sir. Fuck, calm down. Hey, You're thank you. Thank you for your freedom. But I just want to say, maybe if you weren't in war trying to fuck that shit up, you would have time to fuck your wife's pussy up, all right, man? That's why I'm here. All right, that was funny, but fucking, you know what, dude? That is fucking- See, I can't play yeah. that role. I would hug the guy. i go, this is a mistake. I didn't know she was with you. I didn't know she, like, I feel, I, I've been cheated on. It's the worst fucking thing ever. By the way, you get, yeah, you're so convincing and, like, emotional yeah. that you get a spinoff where it's, like, <laughs> you going around trying to, like, get couples back together that have broken up on cheaters. <laughs> yeah. But are like, all actors. <laughs> I've been on cheaters, and I feel like a real piece of shit. And then I spoke to God, and now I'm solving the problem. Oh, <laughs> it's called the- Band-Aids. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I'm still laughing at how fun that was. Uh, hey guys, Adam Ray here for the About Last Night podcast. Hope you enjoyed that little ALN highlight, that little freebie tidbit. If you want to see more highlights, clips, animations, and episodes, click right there. huh? Click right there and get all the free ALN goodies your heart can muster. And of course, subscribe to the show by clicking the ALN logo right there. huh? Do that. It's easy. See you next time. Peace.